Welcome to Real Estate Investment Management Brokerage Development, LLC, making cultured stone yourself. Today, we are going to show you how to make cultured stone like this. And we're going to give you our secret formula. So who doesn't want to know about a secret formula? Um, when we went to try to buy cultured stone already made, our initial quote for the area we had to cover was $1,500. And we thought, okay, that's all right. And then we got a requote later and the price of building materials went way up and the requote was $7,500. Yikes, too much for us. So what we did was we bought molds. Um, we figured out a formula for dye, which we're going to give you in this video. And we made them ourselves and it came out like this. There are, <coughs> there are two types of stones you're going to have to make, or three types actually. Um, one is a flat stone like this. Uh, notice the texture in the front and then notice it's textured on the back. It's scored so it will adhere uh, to the face of the wall you're um, building properly. And the other type is a cornerstone or another type is a cornerstone. Notice we alternate corner pieces, long side here, short side, and then the next one is long side here, short side, alternate them back and forth. You get the corner look. And then we also need a top edge. So we needed to build this mold. So we did that. So here's what you're going for. And notice when we applied the mortar to the stone, we let it drip over the top. And then we can power wash it or scrub it off with a sponge to bring out uh, the color of the brick, which is dark brown. So we liked this. Um, look with some of the mortar over and we can we can wash off to get down to that color if we want. So here's a work in progress. Notice this score coat. Notice these drip edges are going to require a metal embedded in them mounted uh, to the face because they're really heavy. So this is some recent work we did. Notice there's a lot of prep work. There's a drip edge here. This is a eighth of an inch spacer that we put here. And then again, we put the mortar in there, let it drip down. And then we washed it off in certain places and that will always be available to us. Here's some bricks out of the mold recently. We like that color. And again, this is a top edge. And we embedded the metal right into it. This is our friend here. Hi, Cody. Now, uh, we're going to show you our mixing and process. We're particular about safety. We want to protect our lungs, so we're going to suit up. Um, but we'll show you. So the secret formula is 30 pound bag of cement translates into one cup of cement dye and six cups of water added first and then, and then a seventh. So really 30 pound bag of high strength cement, one cup of dye and First six cups of water and then a seventh. So what you do is you mix the water, put the water in a bucket, then the dye, mix it up, and then you measure out 30 pound bags of cement and add it in three increments. And you're gonna see me do that right now. Protect the lungs, mask. Check the eyes, ski mask. Chemical gloves. Also, we have a fan. We want to blow that cement dust uh, away. We don't get want to get getting into it.
mixing bucket for the six cups of water first. One. Six cups of water. One cup of cement dye, which is about 0.86 pounds, less than the seven and a half percent of dye that's your upper limit. Mixing paddle and drill. So the dye is mixed with the water. High strength cement. We've got to measure out 30 pounds of this. Mixing ball for the 30 pounds of cement that will go on the scale. It's a 60 pound bag of cement. That's about 30 pounds there. A little more, uh, taking into account the bucket. And we'll pour it into the water and the dye in, two se in three segments. Gonna need that seventh cup of water.
Now, this mixing formula in process is important. So let me review. Uh, six cups of water, uh, one cup of dye, mix it up first, and get 30 pounds of dry cement, high strength, and add it in three segments, and then add your seventh cup of water. If you put too much water in, the cement integrity and strength is going to be reduced and your bricks may crumble, so you don't want that. I'm gonna move you over to the mold area, and then I'll bring the mixture um, to the mold. See, we've done some of this already. And now we have a bucket full of high strength cement, 30 pounds, seven cups of water, one cup of dye. Now what we want to do is we want to put it we want to put it in molds. Right? So we need a trowel. Just a paint scraper, and we fill up the molds. Notice I'm packing it in like this. So we'll fill up these uh, molds, and then with cement work, you have to worry about air bubbles. Um, for you to for the For the bricks to look good in the end, they've got to look smooth and uh, on the under face where the mold is. So the question is, how do you how do you get them? How do you get the porous parts of the mold to to fill in, and how do you remove the air bubbles? And the way you do that is with a vibrating tool. Now. We developed a system. This is just a, a sander, a hand sander, and we put a, uh, a metal plate over it, and then we turn this on. And we vibrate the cement in so it adheres to the mold very well. So this is how to make cultured stone bricks yourself um, with our secret formula, which is 30 pound bags, 30 pound bag, uh, or 30 pounds of high strength concrete plus one pound of dye and seven cups of water. Added, uh, the mixture is six cups of water first, add one cup of dye, add the 30 pounds of cement mixed in in three segments, then add the last uh, cup of water, so seven cups of water, and then mix it up and then put it in a mold and vibrate it to compaction. We hope this helps you make uh, cultured stone, as you see here, with flat bricks, with corners, and top edges.